Studio Studio. We're back with another episode of Invisible Ink for the console. It's been on the PC for a while, but if you're not familiar with it, this is a great way to catch up and find out if you want to try the game. Uh, episode 2 is still in the works because I recorded the entire thing with no uh, commentary audio. So I'm actually going to have to go back and just put in some commentary. Hopefully uh, everything's working fine. You know my arguments with the microphones. And this will work. In this case, we're already on episode three, so we're a little bit further ahead. I've upgraded the agents, and for those that aren't familiar, I'll try and add a little bit of a tutorial as, as we go. For those that are familiar, just bear with me. Uh, this episode, what we're going to do is, well, we have a map, we have a campaign, we have obviously 56 hours remaining in the campaign. So this is a game that will get a lot of replay if you enjoy sort of uh, turn-based stealth spy games. If you've played XCOM, this is, a, this is definitely a game for you. Either way, it's cyberpunk, we're hackers uh, and mercenaries working for a private uh, company. Well, if you've, you've, you've seen uh, the, the cartoon Archer, uh, I think he works for something called ISIS. Sort of same setup, but set in the future. What we're doing this time is we're going to go to a vault. Uh, these are all low-level missions. Uh, you'll notice it's in Cape Town. It takes 11 hours flight time. That's where the problem is, is that we have 56 hours left in this campaign. And unless we get an extension somehow, 11 hours is going to eat up quite a bit just getting there. Uh, and then hopefully we can pull off the mission. So we're going to go ahead and engage in that. And There's a highly placed executive oh. burning the midnight oil at this office with half the security detail that someone with that kind of access would usually have. Let's crack open his brain and steal his access codes. I believe this game is from the makers of Don't Starve. If you haven't tried that, it's a, a very Ready good sort of roguelike game. Definitely worth uh, trying. Uh, this one's very stylized. Uh, maybe the isotropic of view, sometimes a little bit difficult. You can spin around uh, to, to look. But uh, it's very flexible and is a role-playing game and a strategy game at the same time. Role-playing, limited as overall plot, but definitely with enhancing your characters in different features. So we're going to just drop in here like we would, say, in Warframe, out of a, uh, I guess, event, or actually we're teleported in. So that would be more like uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, 5, Phantom Pain, as you teleport to your uh, forward operating bases. If you haven't played that, then I'll, I'll watch one of my videos. So let's see here. <clears throat> what we want to do is hit the financial suite and get out alive. I always say they have those objectives in reverse, get out alive, and maybe collect some money while we're at it. <clears throat> okay, so clearly international. That's one of my agents. Does not like these people. We have two doors here. We have uh, Decker, who's really based on Deckard from uh, Blade Runner. Uh, international, who is, well, based on no one. So I'm going to go with her first, because she has the ability to remote, remote act. And then we do have our AI, which is the machine that's about to be shut down because of lack of power and uh, she or it can actually hack a lot of the stuff for us so there's two two styles of hacking the ai uses power you'll see up upper left hand corner there's uh, power that you can use not sure the justification of that game mechanic i understand we need the game mechanic but power just seems a a, a bad way to do it. There's so many other ways you could do it. Processing time or stuff like that. But who cares? It, it works. So let's take uh, International and we'll go over to this door. And what we're going to do is get on the side of the door. Warning. I can't move there. Okay. There must be an object there. That's one of the things I was pointing out is that it's sometimes difficult to see the objects. We can rotate. Okay, that's a little bit better. So we're just going to have right in front of the door. And then we'll peek through the door. Get a little bit of a view. We have a guy in here. We also have some laser guards. If that guy has a pass card and the door to the top of the screen is a locked door that requires a pass card, we could be striking it here. You can watch the security guard. This, In this case, they will have a, a movement pattern. We want to figure out what that is. And that is apparently... Not very good for us. Because he's going to be coming straight forward, but it looks like he's going to stop. 
short of the door, which is good. And then I'm guessing he's going to turn around and then head back uh, toward the direction he came. What we have to do is turn off that that laser uh, security system. So we're going to leave International right now. We'll go over to Dagard. And you, you do occasionally, you want to make sure you get the path you want because you can screw yourself up by letting the AI just pick the shortest path. So always make sure you got the line going to the path you want to take. Now let's peek through this door. It's just the other side of the same room, so we don't have to bring down the uh, security system. Those lasers, that would be great from Resident Evil or... I guess a Mission Impossible. And over here we have a camera that you can see the the lines, the red lines, are where uh, its point of view is, or actually it might be something else on the other side of the room. So let's contact our AI Incognita. And uh, I've upgraded her. You, you missed that episode. Uh, so she can break three firewalls for one power. Uh, I don't think there's, this this firewall we're looking at is. Uh, one because it's a lower level. So we got one firewall uh, equipped lockpick. Yep, we 1.0 breaks one firewall costs two power. Uh, that's what we're using as a uh, lockpick. We also are running a program up there, and you can see in the left hand corner called Power. Uh, well, it's Power Drip, which allows us to gain power. The other way we gain power is by hacking terminals. As I said, I don't understand the mechanic, but let's just go with it. So, what I want to do is have uh, incognita dis disable temporarily this camera. So let's have that. And that cost us two power. We're down to eight. And this is a corporate safe. We definitely need the money. Only have 190 credits, so we're going to disable that. We have to go in to collect it. That's the uh, thing. And uh, I guess we will leave it there. I could sneak in the other room. There's no other doors in this room, so let's just go ahead and end the turn. We do have the ability to rewind. I, I've, I've got it set at a, a moderate level or a beginning level, or not beginning level, but normal, and they, they give you a certain number of rewinds or mulligans that you can play over. So if we screw up too much, we can go back. Don't have to keep replaying the, the game over and over. So let's go ahead and end the turn and see where that guard goes. Now, we can't go in and attack him right now because he actually will see us because he does have a point of view on that side but we can go through the other door over here and come around oh is there a door here looks like maybe there is a door on this side it's a hallway I guess okay so that means we could get into that room uh, this point of view, as I said, sometimes is a little bit challenging. So we're going to take Deckard and we're going to move to this hallway, if, if that Warning. is possible. Nope, that's not possible. Okay, we've got a door in front of us first. So let's go ahead and open the door. And that reveals the other door and this room here. So you can see we, this would be our path. We could actually go to here or to this corner, which I think is just a corner. Let's scroll around there. Yeah, nothing important. What I'm trying to do is get to this terminal here and see what else is in the room, because we do want to find the uh, uh, vault that we're, that we're looking for. So I'm going to have Decker go ahead and move to here. The guard's going to turn the other way next turn, so we should be safe. Be out of his uh, point of view. Let's take a peek through the door. And let's ask Incognita to tell us a little bit more. Nothing much in there except for this terminal. Which, uh, because of the terminal, she can't hack it. Don't ask. Don't know why. So what I'm going to do is also, I'm standing right in the doorway. I don't see one in the room, so I'm going to go ahead and open the door to get a better view. And I don't see any point of view. You know, the red lines indicate someone's there. So I'm going to go ahead and come around the corner. 
just to fill up the room. We got another door in here. And I'm going to shut the door behind me. It's always a good idea in this game. Just to keep wandering guards from seeing you. So we have this terminal. I don't know if I can get to it to hack it. Or do I have remote hack? Uh, some characters have remote hack. International does. I don't know if I've upgraded uh, Deckard to have it. But... Warning. Nope. So let's go here. One more move. And I don't know if we'll have enough points to hack that or not. Yep. Looks like we will. So we're going hijack. Sorry. Hijack. Hack with terminal. There we go. That gave us two power, which gives us a little bit more hacking capability. And that's really all we can uh, do with him. I don't think he could move over this corner. So we're going to then go to her. Now, we don't need to pass through the security because we can come through this door here and this room. That's clearly a path straight down there. But we'd probably be seen, so we're going to have to take out the guard. We can knock him out. They'll remain unconscious for a few turns. Don't want to yet because I want him to turn away. I don't want to get caught. His, as you see, his point of view, those red lines are right in the doorway, and that triggers everything. So let's just go ahead and wait this turn and let him turn around. There he goes. Hopefully we can make it that far. Let's see if we can open the door and actually get to him. Yeah, we can. And then we can take him down. Like I see the vault. Let's do a KO on him. Quite brutal. And let's pick his pockets. See if he's got anything. He's got a security card, which I suspected he would. Let's take that. He's got 110 credits. Let's take that. Now he'll remain unconscious for three turns. We have the option to knock him out again, or we can drag his body. This is actually a pretty good place for him. Right here is the elevator that guards will come out of. Yeah, what I want is international to get over here to be able to uh, hack that uh, safe. And what we're going to do about that alarm, let's see if our AI can hack this. To hack this corporate safe, so that's where we want to go, so we're going to go ahead and have her hack it. Well, we're not going to, because sometimes that triggers an alarm on its own when it stops responding, so we're going to hold off on hacking it for now. And let's have uh, Decker go ahead and check this next door out. We have two doors in this room. I have him go to this side so we can look through, then maybe move to the next one next turn. Okay, we've got the safe. We don't have the exit. Exit would be nice. And we might have to drag this guard along with us. But we can't find out how to turn off the security system. <laughs> Corporate safe, corporate safe, these are all corporate safes. Database, that would be good to get to. So this room is sort of filled with the goodies, but no way to turn this off. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. We're going to... I can't get to another door here. I can maybe drag the guard a little ways, because I want to drag him into this other room, just to make it easier. So let's go back. To international. Let's see if we can move the guard. We can move him one square. Hopefully no one will come through that elevator door there. Otherwise, the jig's up. Okay. Let's end this turn. I hear guards. Don't know where they're at. But I certainly hear them. Hmm. So do we, do we go for the next door. Take a peek through it before we go anywhere else. Let's do that. There's no other doors in the central office and apparently we can get in without going through the security access card door. So let's go here and see where those footsteps are coming from. And 
not much we can see there. Well, yep, we can. We can see a guard right there in the hallway. Let's observe his pattern. Not much to observe there, huh? We don't have enough. So, I'm assuming he's going to turn around and walk the other way. Hopefully he won't come through the door. Don't have enough AP to do anything with him. And we're going to have International... I really don't like her name. It's a clever name, but I, I don't like saying it because it's a mouthful. Right, we're going to continue to drag this guy over to here so we can hack this safe. He's going to have one more turn, and then we're going to have to knock him out again. Okay, we'll end the turn there because we really can't do anything else. Let's see if anyone comes in. People on both sides, unless I have my headphones on incorrectly. I'm not anxious to take out this guard over here yet. Because it's a lot of bodies to lay around. I'd rather go to this room, the corporate room, and uh, open the door. Oh, I see. No, no, that's international. Okay, so I see the other guard, but I don't. Okay, we're going to... Hopefully we have enough to drag him and then knock him out. Okay, we're going to drop him is what we're going to do. I still got three, good. So then we're going to move her over to here and have her, is she close enough? Oh no, she's not, okay, go to here. And have her loot the safe, 150 credits. Not much right home about, but every little bit helps. And then we'll go back to this guy who still has three because I guess we're dragging him. Normally they I stop and we'll uh, see if we can drag him again. Yeah, we can move him one more. So let's go ahead and move him one more. And that's about it. So we'll go ahead to the next turn. <laughs> Once the security level rises in the upper right hand corner, someone could come through those doors. Hopefully not. It's a good sign. So let's have her drag him into this room. Well, have her shut the door. Can't close the door probably because I'm holding him or I'm in the door. I drag him one more square. I don't know if they'll let us drop the security guard. Get him out of here. And he's still got three. Can't do anything with the door, but that's fine. And let's go up to Deckard. We want to get him into this room still want to always go for cover when you can. I'm holding off hacking these devices until I have a uh, good indication of what I'm going to do or maybe find an exit strategy, which I don't have yet. Was on that turn? The game is designed so you sort of move in the operation, out of the operation. You know, uh, I'm taking a little bit longer because I'm talking about my strategy and what I'm up to, but uh, theoretically, you could do these uh, much, much faster. So let's go to Deckard. This is the. What we got? We got save the database. So let's go ahead and hit the. Safe. This could trigger something. We're going to the database too. 
Good, we, we didn't do anything to that. Let's leave our AI view and have Decker go over and collect the loot. Trying to plot the path here. And sometimes besides credits you can find other things, but in this case it's mainly credits. Can he get to here? Well, he can, so let's have him go over here and loot that one while we're in the room. And have, uh, now we're down to, well we have 13 power because we have the drip program going on, so that's good. So we're not, not ready for power right now for incognita. Other corporate safe, let's hack it. And see if Deckard can loot it. You want the credits for upgrades, you want the credits to buy things that you may find in some of the other saves or databases. Uh, using that database, but okay, where is a good place to drop this guy who's out of sight? I guess just around this corner here. Let's go ahead and drag him a little bit further. Well, first, let's go here and close the door. And your, your movement's severely limited, obviously, when you're dragging someone around, but it does keep him unconscious. So I'm going to drag him here. I want to put him around this corner when I finally can. That way she can move up and, and come back. If you want to keep him close in case you have to knock him out again. If he gets up, he may trigger an alarm. Okay, I think we've used everything we can, so let's go ahead and hit next turn. I've never actually been beyond security level 3. Uh, things get pretty hot even at 2. So Let's have uh, Deckard go to here and have him peek through that door. Okay. Possibly an exit. Don't know what it is. Don't see any... see a camera in there, but it doesn't seem to be active. And there may be another door in that room. Don't know. Let's have Incognita hit this database. And that's revealing every, all the other consoles for us, which is good. So we can get more power, and we have an idea of roughly where the rooms are. So let's have Deckard go ahead, and I don't know if we have a, yeah, I don't have a take option for that, so. I will have him go in this room, just to see. Well, let's open the door first. Let's try that. Ah! Right there, the uh, power supply. Well, let's go back to Incognita. Never hacked this one. Didn't trigger too much. Well, I guess that turns off the security field. I suspect that's the only thing this room does. I would really hate not to go in there and then find out that there's a door in that one corner, so I'm going to go ahead and go into this room. Try and stay in this corner just to avoid nothing else in this room except for that. I'll stay in this corner for now. I don't think that's a device that can attack either. Yeah, she can. I have another corporate save. Uh, I didn't check the firewalls. I should have uh, checked them. Because we're down to six now. And I think you could go here, but I don't think you'll have enough. Uh, you actually can rob it. Well, good. Now we're stuck in that room for now. But we collected a little bit of uh, credits. Let's go on over to International. I'm just going to drag this guy one more spot, and then we're going to drop him. And hopefully that will be all we have to do with him for a while, because he's severely hindering us. And then I'm going to have her start going around. I uh, turned that so I can't see it, so let's go back. She can go up to this door. Clear line of sight into the other room. And 
I'll peek, but I think we've already seen everything in there, and we'll go ahead and end the turn. What I'm going to do is uh, rob as much as we can, and then get it alive. I haven't located the financial suite either, I, I guess. So now this guy, the knocked out guy, has got two rounds before, or two turns before he comes. He wakes up, so I don't want to get too far from him. Let's try opening the door. Going into the room. Change that point of view. Let's go to there. And in case we don't get a chance to return to him, we're going to close the door. And move her. She has a pretty good movement. We move her all the way down to here. So we can watch this guard in the hallway. And maybe have to take him out too as well. Enough points to do anything else with her, so let's go on over. Deckard. Deckard. I'm calling from Blade Runner. Yeah, let's get him out of this room. It's really a limited number of places we can go. We haven't found any other doors. So it's really this door that International's at. But yeah, so let's go ahead and I'll leave the room, close the door. Don't think anyone's coming out of that room, but you can never tell. Uh, change of point of view. We don't need to use a pass card on that security door because we got in the other way. So let's go ahead and move in here, which is a good hiding spot in case someone came through. I did forget to close that door. Let's end the turn there. Security level's getting higher the longer we stay in here. And hearing guards. I think it's the guy in the hallway still. So let's go to International. Have her look through the door. Let's see, yep. This guy here in the hallway is coming toward us. But we do have a blind spot right here. If we get in the door, we could actually take him out. So Let's do that. Open the door, see if that alerts him. Did you see that? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's right, we are in the point of view. I forgot, there was, there was, a, there was a bar down there. So that's, I have difficulty with that sometimes. That looks like it's yellow. Okay, he, so he wasn't all the way up to the top. Bad idea. I wonder if we close it, if it would uh, alert him. Careful now, the Chris. Close doors, watch the guard. He's probably going to be coming in, so. Let me close the door. I may alarm him more, and then see if I can find a place to hide out of his point of view, which there really isn't many. On this room up here. I can go here and close the door. I sort of screwed that one up. Closing the door. I can move. Well, see, when you do an attack, you have a cooldown period. So it doesn't do, you don't want to do an attack unless you really have to. Can go on this side of the door. Let's see, no, no place to hide here. So, there's no way, if the guy walks into the room, no way I'm going to avoid his gaze. So I'll just go ahead and move Deckard up close. Or maybe back to the other guard who's about to wake up. Oh, I don't think I can get there in time. And the door is blocked by you know who. So. The other guard will wake up, and this guard's alerted. Not doing well right now. Hmm. Must be imagining things. Mm, must be. Alarm level two. Additional cameras yeah. activated. Yeah, the cameras coming active. Got a guard. One woke up, and one came in the other room. So we have some interesting times here. We'll have uh, international peek through the door. 
Okay, so we've got a couple angles here. Let's see what's going on. My cameras have become active. Let's see if our AI can hack the security camera. That one I'm not really worried about. That's not different though. Rebooting. Hack security camera, yep. So that camera was rebooting as well. That's what it's doing. Get rid of that, which may block some of the line of sight. Not much. Uh, I'm curious as to what the one coming from us is. I see his. This is starting from him and going out. It's actually very narrow. And then we have this overlay that's coming from us. Notice, oh, notice location. So, we don't want to step into that yet because he'll notice it. I'll have her. Move aside because we're about to have the second guy come in the room here. Yeah, and I'm not going to have her do an overwatch because uh, that will take up her attack. Of Deckard. Go to here. We, we may just get ourselves killed in this one, but let's see if the guard turns around. Could go in the other room and hide in there, but we're getting further and further away from our only exit. Lots of footfalls out there. This guy over here is going to be coming through here probably down that door. We got a little ways yet before he does, so let's go ahead and take Can we get Decker Decker off the gear. Okay, there was a zero left. Take the risk. Let's see where that guy is in the hallway. Can't do that because I used all of them. Let's go to International. Remove her this room, close that door, and we move her to this door, in case the guy can make it all the way over there, or starts to come there. And we'll end uh, that turn. We're getting uh, pretty dicey here. We're checking things out. Okay, he's going back to where, the original guy is going back to where he was, and over here, you can see we've got some more alarms, we've got seven... Ah, and there's the exit. There's the exit, but we haven't found the financial suite. Or oh, actually, maybe we have. We just need to get out alive now. So, let's turn off some cameras. Max security camera. Yep. It'll take a lot of energy, but we should be able to pick up some along the way. I'm not worried about that security camera. So, there we go. Let's go to Decker. Have him peek through the door. Let's see where this guard is. Guard's facing us. So next turn, he's going to turn around. And when he does, we can uh, hopefully nab him. This guard up here, I think, is going to patrol that area. We've got a little bit of time before he comes to the door, so I'm going to have international prop. So we have two people that can go into that room if needed. And hopefully not have the guard come through. Now let's end that turn. We're having a look around here. Yeah, security level is getting pretty high. So let's have Decker open the door. Anyone else, and then we're going to sneak behind this guard. Hopefully, there's no one at the end of the hallway. Oh, okay. He wasn't where we thought he was. We can still get to him, though. I don't know if we'll have enough yet. We'll have enough to knock him out. Now, there's a terminal in there, and looks like another vault. So, let's get a point of view where we can sort of see him. Let's move up there. And let's see if we can KO him. He's down. We 
go here. We won't have enough to do anything. Can go here though. Well, to here, and we'll have enough to look out the door. So we're sort of in a hurry now. Oh, you're right. I needed to loot this guy. Uh, I forgot the robin. Well, I'll look out the door and have international uh, do it. It's got an infirmary of some sort. Okay, then we'll have International, who also has remote hack. Come here, close this door. Go to this guy. Three. We loot him first. You do only have so many uh, inventory slots. Anything good, well, he's just, just credit, so we don't have to worry about inventory slot for that. And then she can still remote hack that terminal and get two power for our AI, which is down to six. Or if she moved up to here, she'd have zero lot. So, yeah, let's go ahead and remote hack that terminal. Get some extra power in case we need it, which costs us nothing, which is good. So, we're going to go ahead and up to here for next turn. I don't think the AI, uh, yeah, actually, I can do that. Can I hack that? Let's have her hack that. But I don't think we have enough AP with zero to grab anything. Oh, we got. I guess grabbing money is free. We're paying attention to detail. The trophy there. Okay, so let's end. That turn, we've got an exit over here. Investigating area. Yeah. Someone's about to come through that room. That's not good. So I'm gonna have to move her here. Or actually, maybe we can both get out. Let's go to Deckard. Open the door. We we definitely wanted to depart at this point. So let's have him open the door. And have him move down here. Let's see what we can see. Actually here. Take a look around the corner if we can. No, we can't. So we'll go to here. Oh, really bad place because that is the yeah. Entrance for security guards. Let's see here, nano fabricator. Oh, hopefully it's right near there. So we're going to go ahead and hack that. We're going to use credits to buy some good stuff, and I believe that leads to an exit. Yes. So go ahead and move him one more, just to save for this turn, and then we're going to go back to. Incognita, or sorry, international. I have her move to here. This guard's gonna wake up soon, so we have to depart quickly, close that door, and then have her go ahead over to here. Another guard's gonna be coming to the room. I'll trigger the alarm, and and we're about to increase security level anyhow, so we don't have much time. We got to move. All right, let's end that turn. If you have more equipment, for instance, a Decker, mother agent is active. Decker, a Decker has a, a, a cloaking ability, and you can get other technologies. That's one thing we can get from the nano fabricator, and uh, or just upgrade the characters themselves. So I have uh, Decker go first. See if this is close enough to yeah access this good. It is. No, it's not. Out of range. So I'm gonna move him to here. Yeah, let's see if we can. All right. Let's see what we don't have enough money to buy. Weapons. We've got. Got anatomy, 
A single precise strike to the right location is enough to disrupt most commercial current monitors. Unfortunately, the company blah, blah, blah. Do not increase the alarm tracker. Okay, so that's actually pretty handy. Thicker armor. This is for the agents. Thank the Matrix. Charge pack. I don't think we have a charge pack yet. We do. Actually, he has the cloak. He has neural disruptor. Charge pack will let's use a quicker sim one. Enhancing chemicals in the bus. That's not bad. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. He already has. That would be a good one to have. This one uses the same toxins and dirt, but huh. And what's this one? Lock the cover. Ah, that would be pretty handy too. Getting some encryptions on doors. But I think we need to look more toward increasing our combat ability. We've got 1300 credits, so we can buy probably a couple things. I'll have him get this, because we already have the stem. And with this, he will be able to uh, much more hands-on delivery. Use to pin targets, KO for an extra two turns. That one's nice too. Let's see, this one we we can charge. Corporate armor. Okay. Reveals weapons, ammo, and reduces an item's cooldown. So we'll get one of each. Him do this since he can move fairly quickly. And then we'll have him go ahead and move to this door and look in here. Hopefully, there's no one in this room. Otherwise, we're really stuck. Okay, good. And let's have International come into this room. Now, the credits I spend are credits that can be used. Okay, there's no door in here. That can be used to. Uh, upgrade the characters as well. So it's sort of a trade-off, but we still have 900 and she needs some additional attack herself. So strike at location. Kills do not increase the alarm tracker. That that is a nice one. It's really expensive though. Thicker armor. I'm trying to avoid having to deal with shooting more people. The decoder's nice, but I think a couple extra turns, you see the problem with, with the guards. Mud gel's nice too, that would uh, revive your character after they're down. Right, let's go with this one. Okay, and then let's have her move to here. And we should be departing here shortly. Let's turn. Oh, what happened? Uh, he's waking up. Decker, open the door. Head for the exit. Uh, international. Head for the exit. I'm not going to close the door behind us because we're leaving. Marines, we are leaving. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and leave. We come out with 670 credits, and I don't think really what we went in for. The vault passkey. No, I don't, but I'm not going to be able to. Uh, get, well, nope. I'm going to go ahead and leave. Don't have the vault passkey, but we did get some materials. And the alarm level is so high. These are randomly generated, so sometimes you get a good layout, sometimes you get a bad layout. Nano Fabricator was actually a pretty good deal. We got a lot more. We started with about 100. 90 credits or 120 credits, and we're, we're up to you know, 670 with two extra pieces of loot. So let's go ahead and depart. Yes, sadly, we didn't we're just wasting time out here, that. operator. We could really have used that key card. Yes, we could have. Yeah, let's see what the results are. So our net worth is a little bit higher, it doesn't do us any good that I know of yet. Have. Incoming message. Well, now monsters gonna have something for us. Holding this thing for a client. 
real motivated seller. You won't beat this price. Automatically breaks down firewalls. Use this manually to break through three firewalls. Uh, we could stay in longer if we did it. It's pretty pricey. I don't know if I have an inventory spot. So I guess we'll see. Yep. All sales are final. Well, as soon as we close this connection at least. That's our staff so we can swap out the items. Nope, I don't want to sell anything to Mazda. Oh, decisiveness. How I like that in a client. Go ahead and close. And let's check international. We can buy from him as well. So let's see if we can. What's this? What's the chip? Yeah. Might put that in her inventory. So then her inventory slots would be full. Go in here and look, see what else Me and Gladstone go way back. She ever tell you how we met? I was her chief tech officer in the Pan Euro Cyber Interdiction Force. I'm not that interested. We put up a good fight, but it was a dead cause. In the end, the corporations just had the most toys. Yes, of course. Well, we're just going to close that. Uh, what can we upgrade her with? Anarchy is the use of certain technologies. And certain events steal from behind. Steal from KO guards. That's zero one. Next level would be steal from behind. So we could actually steal without knocking them out. Steal 15% more credits. Well, that'd be pretty handy. String carry. Oh, okay, that's how we upgrade inventory. That's 300 credits. What can we do for her? Can we give her? Skill three. Well, that's probably wasted money there. Didn't see that that part. It's going to be a long time before we can use that. So we might as well. Let's see. Dagger. He's got his strength, so he's got extra inventory, and he's really loaded as far as inventory goes. Somebody's going to need extra inventory. Space doesn't carry there. So let's go ahead and upgrade. International. And we'll go down to mission select, but we'll end it with this episode. This is probably longer than the episode I actually needed to take. I think we're getting Thank somewhere. You. Monster will explain. You guys are good Another at covering trophy. your tracks. You've been hitting the corpse for years, but they've never been able to follow you home. I guess they were too distracted fighting each other to bother. Or maybe you were considered a useful pawn. Enemy of my enemy and all that. What we do, we do well. Well, you must have finally done something to get their undivided attention. They were able to pinpoint your HQ by linking their surveillance nets. That's unprecedented. Not for the usual bullshit political reasons, but because of the sheer computational power required. They must have an ungodly powerful network hidden out there somewhere. That One that could host incognita. Right. If you put your AI on that network, it would have an incredible degree of access. Enough to wipe their security records it. and put Invisible back underground. <laughs> More like enough to force them underground, and who knows what else. As I said, it would be incredible. But that's jumping ahead. We have to find it first. They're still looking for you, but they're not hiding the fact anymore. Each time you do an infiltration, the global secnet lights up like a Christmas tree. Do that enough times, and we should be able to cross-reference the traffic and find the location of the root node. So, and then we can strike back. Better. Well then, it's time for us to poke the bear. Uh, always a good idea. So we've got a few more objectives open here. All of them very far away. Well, this one is fairly close. We might do that next and actually get, hit the vault, since we have 45 hours left. Uh, this one here, 
It's 12 hours away. It's a level two. Looks pretty interesting. Well, I'm going to hold them there. Then they've all increased. Uh, so this is Ice Quid. Thanks for watching. You can catch me on YouTube as Ice Quid. On Twitch here is Twitch TV as Ice and Quinn. Most platforms Ice and Quinn. I'm Rudolph Pearson. Should be listed on uh, both YouTube and Twitch, depending on where you're watching. Uh, that's my Twitter account. Feel free to follow me. And thanks for watching, and remember to enjoy life. I'll catch you later. Yeah.